So, all right, so we're just gonna watch the video over the debut. We're gonna watch it over again. This, excuse me, this is from the this is from the Summer Game Fest 2023. Um. I will link it down in the description because there's also a few other games on there like that they're presenting today that I feel like you guys might enjoy. So I will link the the original Game Awards video down in the description. Um, but yeah, this is just Mortal Kombat, bro. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pause and slow it down and stuff like that. We gonna see, bro. <laughs> So like I was saying in my video, right? Kung Lao's hat, at least for the story mode, because what it what it seems like, right? Um, all right, I don't really need to slow it down. I can talk fast enough and pause it. So what I was saying in my in my previous video, I was saying that Kung Lao's hat doesn't look like it does damage anymore, and this is probably just a part of the story. I'm sure regular Kung Lao is gonna be regular Kung Lao because it is displayed in the trailer. Um, so. We see that like he's kind of like on a pickup like I don't know who that is right but it's obviously not Liu Kang so so he so he has like his martial arts skills and whatnot and then he has his hat and his hat is kind of just like straw boom right it hits him in the back of the head it doesn't really do anything because it's not really made of anything then he takes a real blade <clears throat> So this must be like the origin of Kung Lao or something like that because like he didn't have his hat yet. You, then go. And then you see I like you down. it looks like in this story mode fight right here like he uses way more um like hands and feet does than he does uh actual um hat moves cuz like you know in MK MK11 like he uses hat he had his hat on off jump and stuff like that. But like you see here, even though he's losing, he's using a lot more like just his feet and his hand. No hat. He doesn't even have his hat on to throw. You get what I'm saying? So maybe that's a new thing. Maybe that's maybe that's not a new thing. Maybe that's just specifically for story. Hey, we'll see. You have proven worthy of joining us. Come. You see what I'm saying? So you see, he says like you proven worthy of joining us. So like. He already has like Scorpion Sub Zero by his side trying to recruit people so they can fight against like the disturbance in the force or whatever. And then they found Kung Lao, and then Kung Lao's like, "All right, I'm about to put on," cause like, you know what I'm there saying? Other he's like, "Oh, leave," you know, like, we don't, we don't want you over here. And then they start fighting, and then he's like, "Hey, you're worthy. So come gather. with us." What do you want, Sento? And we got Kenshi. My family blade. Kenshi can see now. Kenshi looks like he's in like the Yakuza. Like I don't, I don't know. Mine. And I won't give it. So you see the tattoos on his hand and like the I'll attire. Like fight. you can look at it. Look at the attire. He has like a suit jacket. And all. Like, he looks like a like a gangster a little bit. You can see again though. That's great. Awesome move. Awesome move. Combo potential is gonna be great. No lack of combo. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like maybe a fatality. Either either that looks like is is gonna be like a fatality. Might be a cutscene, like a story mode one, or maybe that's like the beginning of his X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> then it cuts back to cutscene. You see like Kenshi's tied up, so like yeah, he must have handled business and then just like all right, sit him down, tie him up. And I guess Sub Zero Scorpion is about to pull up on on Johnny Cage, and then Johnny okay, Cage, let's, that's when Liu Kang pulled up. Go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, sure. god of fire. We got our Liu Kang. We got a Jax cameo. No amplified spear. Not doing what it looks like. It looks like it was already on fire. So like, you know, for my competitive players and whatnot, usually, you know what I'm saying, MK11, you wanted to uh, get some more uh, combo potential off with the spear, you had to amplify it, which cost meter, but it doesn't look like you need to do that this time. <laughs> Looks like he has his own slide now. Let's go back. Boom. It looked like he did like a left right. 
and then like slide slid into him with a sickle. Mmm. Don't worry about. Scorpion might have a slide back. He Scorpion always used to have a slide too. Have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. So I press in, like story mode, but then cameos. I don't know. From what it looked like, you can't really use cameos in, in story mode. At least that's what I that's what I pick up from it. Like, cause when it was Kung Lao versus Sub Zero, you didn't see any cameos come out. It was just it was just Scorpion. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Um, Sub Zero versus uh, Kung Lao, right? There was no cameos there, but this one, I look. It looks like they're trying to finesse the trailer because, like, it was a cutscene where it looked like they was talking to each other. And from the footage that they showed on the Summer Game Fest, they didn't really have intros. They had like little taunts, like not taunts, but like little things that they did in the beginning. But they did all the talking in the beginning when you choose the character. So this is just like maybe they finesse the trailer because it also further into the trailer he does a fatality on him and they're wearing the same outfit so maybe this is a regular fight get right here like i don't think that that uh raiden is going to be killing kenji in the story mode you know what i'm saying or maybe 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 this is a new rivalry but like usually this looks like a fatality sequence like it's all very dark around and stuff like that this looks like story. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. So, it looks like her... Like, her original origin is gone. You know what I'm saying? Where she was created in the flesh pits? It looks like, like, maybe they already knew each other. Or maybe she was already here or something like that. And then, like, Katana's trying to, like, take care of her. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. I only want what's best for you. See what I'm saying? It's never been like that. It's been nothing but smoke from these two. And then what it seems like is like Melina is like, oh, like you're just jealous, low key. Ooh, that's something to think about. Or do you secretly covet my throne? See what I'm saying? Like she's like, oh, do you really want what's best for me, or are you really going behind my back? And now that looked like a clash. I said um in the previous video, I was like, oh, injustice clash. That's not the injustice clash. That is the character select screen. <laughs> So we got Kung Lao as a cameo and a playable fighter. So for anybody that's worried about it, you know, you can do Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero. You can do Kung Lao, Kung Lao, you know what I'm saying? So Striker. So this does not necessarily mean that Striker is not going to be in the game. But he is a cameo fighter, confirmed as we know now. And we got Jack. Now you see right here we got we got classic Kung Lao, right? He has a classic attire on, right? Blah blah blah. But as you see right here, he has on like his newer attire, and you know, you can be a cameo and a, the same person. And they said that he's he confirmed. See, he's playable right here. And then Jax is the cameo. Then we move over. Now we have Scorpion as the playable one, Kung Lao as the cameo. Get him saying? And it looks like the X-rays are like a uh, tag team, kind of. Like you, you do, you know, the cameo character does like a few moves or one or two moves, and then the main character does one or two moves. <laughs> Now we have Fatality. Now, this is what I was talking about. This looks like a faction kill, right? Because this is obviously classic Kano, because we've seen him in the cameo when he was fighting um, Kenshi versus Raiden, right? So this must be a faction kill. It, it doesn't really look like there's too much going on. Like, usually faction kills are like one swift move or something like that. They don't do over the top things like a normal playable character would. Like, you seen like when Kung Lao was doing his fatality, like he, he had him cut up already. He had him cut up in like two different spots and he cut his knees. 
then he cut his head off then he's gonna cut him in half but then it switch to this one like that's kind of over the top but like these ones the, the classic characters it looks like they just do like one or two moves and like boom that's it that's the end, that's the, that's the end of it you know what i'm saying this playable character it's over the top you know what i'm saying he split him in half he already had him split in half he has his head on the spears you know what i'm saying grab his head you know over the top this i can't really tell because it looks like this is his normal outfit there's definitely playable Johnny Cage fatality. Playable Raiden fatality, right? Over the top. And then this is what proves my point. This is right here. So you see, like, you see Scorpion is just kind of standing there. He's like, he's just doing like a little pose or whatever. We got Raiden. He's all beat up. Oh, no, no. Is this, is this Raiden? No, this is, um. No, yeah, this is Raiden. This is Raiden. I was about to say Luke Kang. Um. Or it, this might be Liu Kang. I don't remember that, that tires. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, so, yeah, we got Scorpion. He's standing there. He's doing his little pose, just like the faction kill from MKX, right? And then we got Sub-Zero. He slides in because that must be his cameo, like, partner or whatever. He comes up. And he just does, like, one move. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, oh, okay, let me just come up. <clears throat> I'll do it for you. You know what I'm saying? And then... And then now you see, like, Scorpion is standing beside him, and then, like, Sub-Zero's holding his head up. Like, he classic does, like, he, this classic, uh, head rip fatality, right? So, they have faction kills, from what it looks like, again, or cameo kills, whatever you want to call it, right? They got that back again. They got, uh, let me see, they have double up, like, characters. So, you can do Kung Lao Kung Lao. Seems like they can do like uh like it's like a stunt double type thing like okay I could choose Scorpion and then I could choose classic Sub Zero or I can choose Scorpion and maybe they have a classic Scorpion so I can do Scorpion Scorpion so if I want like max Scorpion combos I can choose the same character you know what I'm saying if if he's a cameo we don't know that yet but let's say okay let's say for people that we do know is confirmed we have um. Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero, I can do Sub-Zero, and then Cameo Sub-Zero right here, and then, you know, I can do regular moves with this one, and then call this one in to do other moves for me, you get what I'm saying, and, and, and all, either it can be combo potential, or it can be, like, just some, some other tech, like, stuff like that, um, it also looked like from the Game Awards footage that grabs are Cameo, uh, Cameo, like, uh, what's, what's the word? They're like affected like that. Like whenever he grabbed the person, the cameo character came in and did the moves for them. And then they like just push him away or they knock him down, whatever they did. Um, the maps are fire. Kenji can see again. We love that. Kung Lao for some time being. I, I don't know if this is like normal gameplay aspect or what. Let's go back actually. Let me see here. So... Now it looked like he can do dive kick. Now we have breakers. I, I don't know if y'all peep, but we have breakers here. But um, so it looks like for some time being he can't really do hat moves. At least this that looks like how it is for the story mode. I highly doubt they would ever do anything like oh his hat has like a crazy cooldown on it where it leaves him like you know because they do they have done that like in MKX. Um, I think if you throw the hat away and, like, you try to do any attack before it teleports back on your head, like, then you're just doing them with your fists instead of your hat. But I don't think they're doing that this time. I think this is a story mode aspect of the game right here. He's definitely not wearing his normal attire like he usually would. So, yeah, this is a different, like, part of the game. Even though it still looks cool, he still, he still looks like a competent fighter. He doesn't look like he's handicapped just because he doesn't have his hat on anymore. So that's always great. Air combo is great. And it kind of, okay, so it kind of looks like they have, um, you know, NJPs a little bit. Like, he has like an ice mace. Oh no, that's somebody's head. So he has somebody's head, right? 
and then boom, like he smacks him down on the floor, but it, and then he lands on the floor, and it gives him way more combo potential. And it doesn't look like you need to do anything special. Like it doesn't seem like you need to do amplifying attacks and the blah blah blah. Like no, this looks like core stuff. Not core, but you know, like it looks like these are things you could pull off like any time. You don't have to wait for some type of cooldown or something like that, which okay. is dope. You have proven worthy of joining us. Come. There are other champions I must gather. What do you want? Yeah. Sento. It's my family blade. Sento. My boy Kenji can see now. Those like, that's mine. so, that's so, like, so now that makes me wonder even more, like, how far, where are we at in time, y'all? It, I don't think, okay. I don't think this is a, is a thing of, okay, we're gonna go back in time to a certain point. This is just Liu Kang's new chapter, right? And let me explain why. Kenji can see now. I don't remember, like, I don't really know too much of the Kenji lore, so I can't really say, like, how he lost his eyes and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. But even, even without me knowing that, right? Katana and Melina are cool. It seems like the roles are switched now. So, like, Kenji can see now. Right, Kenji's also um, alive, right? Um, let's see. So, so we got Kenji being alive. We have him being able to see now. Um, let's see. He was also a monk here. Raiden still doesn't have his god powers. I mean, yes, he does have his, his lightning, but like you know, his eyes aren't lit up, and he's not like classic Raiden. He's, he's like a new Raiden. He's, he's a new one. Um, let's see. Then we have, like, so it seems like Kenshi, okay, so we got Kenshi here, and she's, like, she has some type of disease, so maybe she's, this Melina is, like, new. It's a new Melina. It's not the old one. It's not like they went back in time. This is a new Melina because, like, she's, like, she's normal right now. Her teeth aren't crazy. But then she's like, oh, this disease. If your disease becomes known, you yeah, if, if people start finding out about it, you know what I'm saying? Now look at her teeth. Now she looks like a werewolf a little bit. You get what I'm saying? And, 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 and hold on. Even in, like, the trailer, the beginning, the first ever trailer, you know, we seen, like, her mouth was all, like, you know, wide and distorted and stuff. Right here, it's not like that. So, obviously, that's a story build-up part or something like that. But, um... You know, if your disease becomes known, you, it, uh, you can hear Katana talking to her like they're trying to take care of her. It wasn't smoke like off jump like how it started out as because when once she found out like, oh, they made a clone of me in the flesh pits and like the clone of me wants to be me. Now it's now they're talking like this. I'll be banished. I only want what's best for you. Right. Or do you secretly covet my throne? Now it's like. Now it's like the jealous sister. It's like they swapped roles. It's like Katana was always like, oh, get her away from me. I don't like her because y'all made a clone of her. I'm never going to like her, right? And then now Melina is like, yo, like, why are you hating on me? You know what I'm saying? It used to be like, oh, Melina's like, oh, I'm going to take over. I'm going to be the new one. I'm going to be your replacement. You know what I'm saying? But now it's, now it's like she's scared of getting replaced. It's weird because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 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 and another thing, alright, so this kind of slaps my whole, like, theory in the face, right, my last theory, because I was thinking, like, alright, um, for certain moves, it looks like for certain moves, right, so when, let's look at it, boom, now when she calls in Goro, Melina can't move. That's what I'm picking up, right? When Goro comes in, look at her. She's not moving. Goro's doing all the work now. Now when he's finally getting ready to get done and he's able, like, he's about to pop her up for combo potential, now she can move. You get what I'm saying? Or maybe, maybe, maybe that might just be a block animation? I don't know. It looks like a stance. It looks like you you have to wait. You have to you have some type of cooldown on moving, so you can't just go ham on somebody's health bar when you call in the cameo. Now she's able to move. Now she's going for combo. Because what I was saying in my video was like, 
What if I call in a cameo character and I do a move the same time that they do their move? That's double damage, right? So that is kind of debunked now. Okay, see you again. We got a block, right? Boom, boom, boom. He calls in Kung Lao. He does a pose. Kung Lao comes and does his move. Soon as he's done with his move, he's able to move again. Crazy combo. Really nice though. Really nice. Right, so there we got we got our breakers back. Gotta love it. So yeah, man. Yes, sir. Here we got our, our thing. So I'm, chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill back with my theories and whatnot. I might upload another video talking about the whole Kung Lao. I mean, not Kung Lao, the whole Liu Kang um, thing. Anyway, but yeah, as of for this video, I'm gonna chill. I think I've gotten everything out, okay, all my excitement, all everything, I think I got everything out, but we are gonna talk about my theory, right, because it's, it's, it's a, it's a question, it's definitely a question to talk about, um, you know, the fact that, like, time, yes, they call it a reboot, but it's not going all the way back to the first tournament, obviously not, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the breakdown, um, I hope y'all peep different things i hope y'all you know if y'all did peep anything tell me about it in the comments bro let's talk about it i'm down to discuss all of this bro i'm really down to discuss all of this i want to discuss all of this i'll talk to y'all for hours about this like bro oh my gosh bro Air combos are i can't wait to hit i'm gonna be dropping so much content on this game it's not even funny like this channel is about to be a nk channel only bro <laughs> i'm telling y'all bro i'm telling y'all bro oh my gosh the maps for this game look crazy we fighting in a modern house we're fighting in like you know like this this little area this is kind of like what it looked like in the trailer the first ever trailer where um scorpion sub-zero they look like they're about to square up and then they turn and looked at the moon or whatever or, or like the little fire sphere in the, in the sky um what else we got you know the, the, the house we got the, it looks like the, the academy low-key right here. Um, then we have another academy here. Very beautiful maps, bro. Very, very beautiful maps. And then we have, like, looks like they're fighting in, like, Edenia. Like, this is so beautiful, bro. All of these maps are so nice, bro. Like, you can't even be upset about these maps at all. And we got like this really nice vibrant one like oh my gosh bro there's so much content on the way y'all i'm telling y'all so much so much so much bro 